Facebook. I like beautiful hair, and today I'm going to color my hair. So, um, I've had my hair colored in the past, like the color on these ends. And then I had it done professionally. And initially, the bottom layer of my hair all the way around was black. Black, black. And then the top part was colored. So, I want to go back to that. So, today, I have this Clairol Natural Instincts. And I'm just going to color, like I said, the bottom layer of my hair. So, like, there down. And turn around. And you can zoom in on the back. I want the saw to be black again. And I'm going to leave this, the top part, the same color. I'm not going to add any more color. Because over time, color does, you know, affect your hair. And kind of dries it out. And I'll see pieces break off. So, I don't want to overdo it. I just really want to color the bottom part black again. So... It's Super Bowl Sunday, and this is my project for today. Okay, I'm back, and I colored my hair. I used this uh, Clairol Natural Instincts, and it's a semi-permanent color that's supposed to last like 28 days. It came with this um, color treatment that I'm supposed to use after every time I shampoo. So I'll use this. And I already have a Redken Color Extend. That's what I used to shampoo my hair with when I was done. And I also have a Garnier Color Shields. Now I took these shampoos out so that I don't mistakenly just grab any old shampoo when I do my hair for the next couple of months so that I don't take my color out. Okay, so let's look at the color. So as you can see, the back, the bottom is colored black. And then we've got the lighter color on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just cut down the lighter hair just a little bit so that there's a definite um, line between the two. More like this side. This side, I think um, you can see the color change much better. And then with the back, um, this is where I see that I this part really needs to be colored more in whatever color this is. But the back came out really well. So I might, if I decide to put color on this top part, I will have that done professionally because I don't think I could control the color if I just tried to color the top of it because that's how the bottom got so interesting color is because I colored the top on my own uh, a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, and some of it bled down to the bottom part so it wasn't as black or as a big contrast. So if I do anything else with the color, I will have that done professionally. And um, yeah, I'm going to cut it and I'll come back and show a real quick picture of that. Back and here's my, I, didn't, I did not cut a lot of my hair, but I just want you to see, just to try to get a definition between the dark and the colored hair. And I just cut, I just did the sides and I'm going to turn around to the back. Now, if I decide to, um, like I said, if I get it professionally colored in the back, I will let her go ahead and cut it to go along with the symmetry of what I've done on the sides. But I'm not decided yet whether I'm going to do that. And just to let you see, I did not cut a lot of hair. This is all I cut. I just trimmed those ends to make it all be on a single line. And this side, I hardly had to do anything with. And so, uh, there we go. So I'll color it. I mean, I'll style it today. I'm, I'm sure I'll put it up on my lock loops because I love those. And um, I'll come back with the results in a couple of days. end of my hair color video so um, I'm in the sunlight so that you can see it as you can see the back the bottom is very black which brings out the color on the top and then there my natural color here which is a very very dark brown so it's kind of got a little bit of an ombre effect and then it turns black let me turn around the back is not as dramatic 
as the sides. But I still like it. And I really don't want to put any more color on my hair because it can be damaging. And thank you and good luck with your hair coloring. Oh, and here's Max. Say bye, Max. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo.